Welcome to On Air with Cash. We are here in the studio of my dear friend, Mr. Brendan Bradley. You know him from the feature films Non-Transferable, In Vino, and the last couple years he has been taking over the VR world and he has been kind enough to allow us to have a sneak peek inside of his studio and to let us know how this really works. We're going to figure it out. Um, <laughs> I've been talking to you about coming and building a VR studio for a long time. Yes. What do you know about VR? What are your current assumptions? It was kind of introduced in the 90s when we were kids. You know, we'd be at oh, the yeah. arcade and then you put the helmet on. Uh, when we were both at WME, uh, you had a screening. It's Sona. It's a, Sona, that's it's right. It's an eight-part series written by Ashley Clements, starring Ashley Clements. That's... And it's inside of an escape pod. And we sold it to Legendary Digital from a tweet, of all things, which was crazy. And when we came time to launch the show, they said, do you want to come to Comic-Con and launch the show? And of course, as a sci-fi franchise, it's the only place you want to be. And... We had the blueprints from having built a spaceship in our apartment, not this apartment, um, but a different apartment, and we thought, okay, well, if we already have the blueprints, we already know how the spaceship was built, what if we put it in virtual reality and put the audience in the mind of the character? And that was my first ever VR experience in 2017. I remember this vividly now. We used to see each other yeah, every yeah. day pretty much in the VO department at WME and you were showing me pictures, you were saying, Cash, I'm building this dome, I'm building the pod. And you know, that's the thing is you, you whatever you're working on, you make it your environment, you yeah. know, you're living amongst it. And then, uh, so yes, we had the eight part series that we watched and then you also did some VR demonstrations mm -hmm. there um, outside the screening room and that was another my other experience that I had uh, doing virtual reality. So you've put on the helmet twice. I put on the helmet twice that I can recall. Okay, so we're going to put on two other helmets today. Okay. We'll play around with that. We'll get there. Because what I'm going to make you do right. today okay. is I have spent all of COVID, <laughs> all of after COVID, basically in this little office, and I make VR worlds on my computer, and then I launch them to what is called web-based virtual reality, which means that a web browser from any device, you can enter a 3D world like a video game. And if you're at your computer, which we'll do, it's like being on a normal video game, arrows, you know, mice, you know, looking around, walking around. But when you put the headset on, you are an avatar, you're walking around the space, you can interact with different things. So we will build or customize a little world today together. And then we will do some of this podcast on stage of your podcast studio in VR. And then we'll change and go to some other worlds and play around. I hope you, uh, you caught up with all that. If not, <laughs> we'll go slow and join us. This is going to be very exciting. Cool. So this is the future stages. This is the first theater that I built and designed in virtual reality and then released to anybody in the world to use. And if you see, we can walk around this space. It's just a 3D model inside of a web browser. And if we go inside, there's a little stage there. There's also water that is, the water line is too high. Climate change has already impacted us. <laughs> All right, so we can put that down. Mm -hmm. So you can see that I've built it with this kind of like predetermined little branding. And this is for Onboard, the little showcase that we do um, twice a year for anybody to do this. But so what we can do is we can just go find on air with cash images. Oh yeah, that's all. But then I'll, I'll look for a banner. Ooh, there we go. Cash Hobie and Friends. We yeah, that's the animal use festival. That? Yeah. All right, great. So we'll use that. So we're gonna just copy the image address. Okay. I'm not gonna worry about hosting it or making it fancy. And we're just gonna replace this image URL here. And now we're gonna brand the outside of the theater with your show. Wow. I'm honored to be featured at the uh, Brendan Bradley uh, Future Stage. There we go. Oh, this is nice, the IMDb one. Yeah. It might be a little small, but we'll find out. A copy image address. So I'm just replacing all the branding, and this is what I kind of recommend for people for their first thing, is just take the model that already exists, take the theater, quickly brand it with your event or your show or your project. Got to keep the branding, keep it alive. There we go. Love that branding, love it. All right, and then you don't need these awards. You have your own highly, highly coveted awards. Now let's move inside the theater. Okay. All right. So we're gonna be on stage. Our little brick wall. Do we have mics or what do you- Let's get mics. That's All right. right. That's a very good call. Just to show it off, I do want to give you a handheld. I'm gonna hit publish up here in the top right corner. Yeah. Walking around the virtual yeah. world. So this is how we do it, huh? Yeah. All right. So either hold the, click the mouse okay. uh, on the, the left side okay. and drag it around. 
and that's like moving your neck around. Gotcha, okay. Or you can just use Q and E to kind of incrementally twist. Q and E, oh, like this? Yeah. Okay, so I'm in the world. You're in the world. Okay, so let's see. If I'm... you look straight down, use your neck to pull down to look okay. at your feet. Yeah, there you go. There we go, all right. Just walking around. Walking around, seeing what's up. Perfect. Backing up now, I'm going Oh yeah, to... you gotta walk the red carpet, come on. The doors are the hardest part. The doors are the hardest part. Now let's see if I can yes. make this happen. So if you'd put the link to on oh, yeah. cash dot com or whatever, it could then literally just open up a new tab and take you there like a website. Oh, gotcha. so it's like being inside of a 3D website. You can enter the theater. Here, it's showtime. It's showtime. Now we're gonna put on VR headsets. Let's do it. And then be inside of there. Can't wait. characters. Put that on. Uh -huh. That hand. Okay. And this hand. And your hand's naturally found on your pointer is a trigger. Okay. Finger. Under your thumbs are basically to the outside of your thumbs. Uh -huh. There's buttons, but then on the outside of your thumbs are joysticks. Okay. So I'm gonna put here and here. So go to it in 3D space. So use the left hand to walk there and the go. right hand to turn, or you just turn your face. Mm -hmm. Like actually go, like put your hand on the microphone. It should light up blue. Yeah, it's lighting up blue, okay. Yes, yeah, and then pull it. Oh. Nice, raise it, it. raise it towards you. Shh. And now you should be able to actually like get your hand around it a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, it's going away from it. Yeah. This is some kind of reverse Jedi mind trick. It is. Here we go, ah, here we go. Now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. So I'm on stage right now. Yep. Hi there. This is Cash Hovey of <laughs> On Air with Cash. I am sitting in a virtual reality world right now, and I'm holding a microphone, yeah. and I'm on the stage. <laughs> That's right. We're supposed to dance. That's the whole. The whole thing. Are you dancing? I, I am dancing. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah. See, here we go. Hey, and there's hey, Brendan. Do you want a high five? High five it, buddy. Great. Am I high fiving you? I think we're high fiving. I think we're. Right. There we go. Yeah. I see you. Perfect. And what do you have to say to the audience, Mr. Brendan Bradley? I, I have to say that this has been relatively smooth. I was anticipating it being much harder <laughs> for, your, for your first time developing something. Now, if I can go crazy. Yeah, so we're on stage, let's go nuts. Because we're on a web browser, and because this is all being hosted in the cloud, I can change us to a completely different world. Let's go to a different world. Where are we going? So I'm going to take us to, this is going to be a cave world for my musical non-player character. And now if we turn around, you'll see some things that we can go encounter behind the world. So yeah, you can walk over there and I'm going to turn around to take the audience back with you. And you tell the audience what you see, Cash. What uh, do we see? We actually, have... turn 180 degrees this way and sit back down. I know. There we go. It's hard to be three places at once. Um, but this way, you are technically right now looking at the camera, looking at the camera in virtual space um, and the camera in physical space. So you can tell the audience what you're seeing and what you're experiencing. Hello, audience. So I see this robot dude right here. Oh, and I see this post that says a flawless blend of Broadway games, pop, and comedy bliss from Fame Magazine. And then, oh, what do we got here? So that's the hero character. The hero character, okay. We, we meet the hero at the very beginning of the show. All right. And he's kind of a jerk. Um, <laughs> but he is the hero of the, of the game, and we're supposed to protect him. Okay. And he very quickly dies. Gotcha. Spoiler alert. All right. Um, and the show is about the non-player character, which is the character that you are currently dressed as. Okay. And the non-player character is not programmed to process or understand grief. Mm. So they turn to the audience to help guide them through the five stages or five virtual worlds of grief. Right. And that's the show. Very cool. And then there's a little trailer playing on the wall inside of a little cutout in front of you. And then if you turn left, walk out into the galaxy space. We're going here. Wow. You just kind of go hang on. Star Wars or something? Yep. This. this is yet another world, and if you hold on to your butts, uh -huh. I'll take us to another world. This theme of like a pirate ship kind of took off, of oh. onboarding people onto the pirate ship. So if you if you look now, there's a, there's a pirate ship in front of you, and there's this very terrible dock that's falling apart. And this, during one of our shows, was how we uh, onboarded people onto the pirate ship to begin the show. So this was the second season of the festival. Okay, now we go here. Huh. And then what, I have to jump? So there's there's a hidden little 
plankway here, and we actually just helped people with a little ladder, and then it felt like they were climbing. Nice, woohoo! That's just a hidden path. Nice. Then we can look down to where the uh, the prisoner performers gotcha. were before the show. All right. Down below. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and then we just kind of took off on this uh, virtual pirate ship ride. I'm gonna take the camera to the back of the theater again. If you can navigate yourself back yeah, on stage. Get back on stage. Yeah, everything. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm below the microphones. Oh, wow. So I've made you completely tiny. <laughs> I'm shrunk in the virtual reality world, and I'm making this microphone go. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm going to try to come find you with the... I'm under the microphone. I see you. Hold on. This is great. Look Everybody. at me. Hey. There you are. Uh, so, yeah, just stare up at this guy and wave. Hi. <laughs> it's a little cash. <laughs> Tiny next to the microphone. Exactly. Perfect. That's that's the perfect way to end. <laughs> we did it. We're here in this virtual reality world. Now we're tiny. <laughs> Woo! All right. I'm going to take these back from you. Woo! Oh, man. Oh, that was intense. Yeah. Dude. All right. Mm. Wow. I feel like I got a workout. I feel like I've uh, I've time traveled or something. We both have mask face. We have mask face. Right, yes. Okay. Mask, mask hair. Or, uh, mask mask hair, hair. Of course. Helmet head. Yeah. It's, it's the new thing. It's the new, <laughs> it's the new Hollywood do. Um, but yeah, this is basically what I do with my life now. This is live virtual reality theater. And thanks for uh, joining me to be a part of it. I appreciate your time. Hey everyone, give it up for my buddy here, Brendan Bradley. We just he was nice enough to let us into not just his studio but into his world. And uh, no, definitely, me and this guy, we go back a long way. Fantastic actor. You've seen him in, in Vino with Sean Young and Ed Asner. And then uh, he made uh, the feature film Non-Transferable. I mean, he's a hustler, a real go-getter. And now you have this VR world that he's creating. He's taken over this industry as well, too. So I want you to follow this gentleman and stay tuned because we're going to have some more adventures for you. And come join me in the virtual space anytime. <laughs>